Hi there, my name is Brian Collins from Become a Writer Today and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Dragon Dictate 6.0 for the Mac to dictate a blog post. But before I get into that, I just want to give a quick overview of how you can use dictation for your book or for your articles or for your writing. So on screen I have a sample workflow and I'd suggest this to anybody who wants to learn how to dictate. So the first thing you should do is you should outline your first draft using either a bullet points or a mind map and keep that outline near where you write so you can review it while you're speaking or dictating your work in Dragon. Then I would say when you start dictating your work just to continue dictating and to continue speaking until you reach the end of whatever it is you're trying to write until you reach the end of that first draft uh, and then when you finish dictating you can correct some words using Dragon by voice and this will help you in the accuracy of the program over time but it's always quicker to do this after you finish dictating rather than as you go and then I would suggest that you make the rest or the remaining edits by hand as I find the editing and rewriting process is sometimes faster doing it by hand than it is um, when you attempt to do it by voice and then of course to publish your work. So now I'll show you how I used Dragon Dictate 6.0 to write this particular blog post. Uh, just the only thing I would say is that you can see subsequently the outline for the post on the left hand side of the screen and you can see where I dictate in the center of the screen. And the other thing is to say that the audio quality is uh, slightly poorer as I use a dictation microphone which is different to the type of microphone that I use to record audio. When I was employed as a journalist, comma, I spent a lot of time interviewing people full stop. One of the most painful things I had to do was transcribe long interviews using a keyboard full stop. It was time consuming to do this and my fingers normally hurt at the end of the transcription process full stop. I tried using dictation software back then to transcribe these interviews but I found that the software was buggy, comma, difficult to use, comma, and prone to making mistakes full stop. New paragraph. More recently, comma, I've been using dictation software to transcribe first drafts of articles, comma, blog posts, comma, and book chapters, full stop. To my relief, comma, I found that the software is now easier to use, comma, more accurate, and easier to integrate into my writing workflow, full stop. New paragraph. In this post, I'll explain how you can dictate a first draft of your book or blog post, and I'll also give you practical tips for getting started with dictation, full stop. I'll also record myself dictating this post as I go so you can see how dictation works for first drafts, full stop. New paragraph. So why dictate question mark? New paragraph. Dictation is far faster than typing, full stop. I'm a pretty fast typist and I can type about a thousand words in 15 minutes, full stop. But you can dictate a thousand words much faster than that, full stop. If you suffer from RSI, or if you get pain in your fingers from typing, comma, dictation is great because you can dictate while standing up, comma, you can dictate while walking around the room, or you can dictate without even having to use your hands, full stop. Dictation is also great for writing first drafts, full stop. The job of any first draft is simply to exist, full stop. And when you're writing your first draft, you shouldn't stop to edit yourself, full stop. Dictation makes it a little bit harder to edit yourself as you write that first draft, which means you're more likely to hit your daily target word count and get those messy first drafts out of your head and onto the blank page without stopping to change what you wrote, full stop. New paragraph. Dictation is also great if you want to focus on your writing, full stop. You can't stop dictating to check your email, comma, to browse Facebook or to do something else that has nothing to do with writing because it forces you to focus on what you're saying slash writing rather than whatever else is going on in your computer full stop new paragraph what software should you use question mark new paragraph dragon provide industry standard dictation software and if you're serious about dictation this is what you need to use full stop dragon provides software for both mac and windows full stop Yes, it's slightly expensive, comma, but you should consider this an investment in your writing, full stop. However, I realize new writers may not yet be up to spending several hundred dollars on dictation software, full stop. The good news is, 
there's inbuilt software in Windows and OS X, comma, which is powered by Dragon, comma, that you can use to practice dictating before you invest in premium software, full stop. Now, the advantage of Dragon over the inbuilt dictation software is that you can train Dragon to recognize certain words and it will become more accurate over time, whereas the inbuilt dictation software in your computer is not as smart, full stop. New paragraph. Do's. New paragraph. The first thing I would say to you is to use Dragon or dictation software for your early first drafts, full stop. Dictation software is ideal for first drafts because you can't stop to edit yourself, full stop. There's a mantra about first drafts by Natalie Goldberg that you should keep your hand moving, full stop. When it comes to dictation, you should keep your mouth moving, exclamation mark. New paragraph. The second thing I would say to you is that you should train your dragon, full stop. What do I mean by train your dragon, question mark? Well, there are a number of different tutorials that you should complete before you start using dictation software, full stop. These tutorials will teach you how to use dictation software and they will also teach Dragon a little bit about how you speak, full stop. In other words, by completing these tutorials, you will teach your dictation software what you sound like and increase your accuracy, full stop. New paragraph. My next tip for you is to use placeholder words, full stop. My daughter has a traditional Irish name, full stop. No matter how many times I've tried, I can't teach Dragon to recognize her name, full stop. I've tried spelling the name and various other tips and tricks, but Dragon still insists on mangling my daughter's name, full stop. So now whenever I'm writing a journal entry and I mention her, I use a placeholder word that Dragon recognizes, full stop. For example, I call her Sarah or I call her my daughter, full stop. Then when I'm editing the journal entry, I just do a find and replace for the word Sarah and replace it with my daughter's name, full stop. New paragraph. You should also outline your article or your book chapter first, full stop. So on the left hand side of the screen, you can see an outline of this blog post, full stop. And in the center of the screen, you can see me dictating this as I go, full stop. Because you need to speak in complete sentences while you dictate, comma, it's much easier to speak in those complete sentences if you know what your article or your book chapter is vaguely about in advance beforehand, full stop. New paragraph. You should also dictate some required, full stop. The accuracy of your dictation software is determined by the quality of your microphone and the surrounding environment, full stop. So if you're dictating in somewhere noisy like a coffee shop, the accuracy will decrease, full stop. If you're serious about dictation, you will also need to invest in a good microphone that's suitable for dictation, full stop. I'll provide a list of those at the bottom of this post, full stop. New paragraph. I also recommend that you track your word count when you're starting off, full stop. Because of the learning curve to dictation, seeing your word count from dictation as compared to writing normally will help you keep motivated to learn how to dictate early drafts of your work, full stop. New paragraph. It's also important to speak punctuation commands, comma, as you can see in this video, full stop. For example, comma, when I want to use a full stop, I have to say the words open quote, full stop, close quote, full stop. New paragraph. What not to do. New paragraph. I would say don't expect to get dictation right the first time, full stop. It took me several hours of trial and error to figure out how to integrate dictation into my writing workflow, full stop. Even now, comma, dictating feels different to writing by hand, full stop. Like any new skill, you'll have to learn how to do it, full stop. In fact, comma, speaking in complete sentences without using filler words like open quote, you know, close quote, takes practice, full stop. New paragraph. Although dictation software has improved dramatically since I used it several years ago, comma, you should not expect 100% accuracy, full stop. Although your accuracy will increase over time, as the software becomes more accustomed to the sound of your voice, comma, it won't recognize every word that you say, particularly technical terms or words that are affected by your accent, full stop. In the video that I'm recording, you can see some of the mistakes that Dragon has made, comma, perhaps these are down to my accent or that I'm speaking too fast, but it's a good indication of the quality that you can expect, full stop. New paragraph. You should also avoid using cheap equipment, full stop. 
Originally, comma, I tried using the inbuilt microphone on my computer, but that didn't work very well. The accuracy was below 50% full stop. Then I tried using a cheap headset that I had in my wardrobe full stop. That didn't improve the accuracy by much either full stop. So I spent just over $100 on a professional dictation headset and that had a dramatic increase in the level of my accuracy full stop. New paragraph. While dictating, you'll also need to avoid mumbling and using filler words like open quote, you know, close quote, full stop. You'll also need to get into the habit of thinking what you're going to say before you actually say it, full stop. For this reason, comma, your outline is golden, full stop. You can create an outline by using a bullet point list, comma, which is what I use for this particular post, full stop. Alternatively, you can use a mind map, full stop. Whatever your approach, comma, it's helpful to keep this outline near where you're dictating so you can look at it and dictate as you go, full stop. New paragraph. What to know, new paragraph. Like any new skill, comma, it'll take some time to learn how to dictate a book or a chapter, full stop. Even once you've figured out how to integrate dictation into part of your workflow, it's important to know that dictation will change how you write, full stop. What do I mean by change how you write, question mark? Well, I found that dictation tends to lead to a more conversational type of writing, full stop. Because I have to get into the habit of speaking, I'm less likely to use bigger words or to turn to complicated language and turns of phrase, full stop. I imagine it would be quite difficult for a literary fiction author to get real value from dictation, full stop. However, Dictation suits me because conversational type of writing is an important type of writing for anyone who writes online. And it's also the type of writing that appeals to me the most, full stop. New paragraph. A human alternative to dictation. New paragraph. You don't have to use Dragon to dictate your work, full stop. I've used the service Rev in the past to transcribe audio files, full stop. You can use Rev too to transcribe a first draft of your book chapter or articles full stop. As I'm doing in this post, comma, prepare an outline in advance, comma, and then record yourself dictating the first draft using your phone or your computer full stop. When you're complete, comma, when you've finished dictating this first draft, comma, you can upload the audio file to Rev full stop. For a dollar a minute, comma, a human will transcribe what you dictated full stop. Because it's a human, you're less likely to face problems of accuracy and they only take 24 hours to turn around a document full stop. Of course, using Rev is more expensive than using dictation software full stop. So I worked out that it will cost me approximately $700 to dictate a first draft of an entire book full stop. That's based on the maths of a dollar per minute with a typical book being 70,000 words long, full stop. New paragraph. You can also use drag and dictate to control your computer, full stop. The software is designed to enable people with physical disabilities to do things like surf the internet, comma, use common applications on their computer and do everything that you can do with a keyboard or a mouse, full stop. To be honest, comma, I don't use Dragon for any of these things, full stop. I'm only really interested in using Dragon to write first drafts and to prevent any problems that I have with RSI full stop. However, if you put more hours into Dragon, you can certainly get more use from it full stop. So you can see in this video, there are a number of accuracy errors that I will need to either fix by hand or with Dragon full stop. Now, normally I find these quicker to fix by hand full stop, but for the purposes of this video, I'll show you how you can fix it with Dragon full stop. Correct or S or U with space or S I 